Did you coach Vrabe? Um, I didn't. I was on the defensive side for three years, and I didn't coach Mike specifically. But um, I was there when I, I think I picked him up at the airport, you know, because I was like that guy on the totem pole back then. Yeah. And and then kind of working my way uh, through the defensive staff. But I was around him for those three years in 01, 2, and 3 and got to be around the, you know, the anomaly that is Mike Vrabel. So he's. Uh, was he ever on the fringe? He No, on the fringe of the roster? Yeah. No, not when I was there. Not when I was there. He, you're hoping, right? He, no, you were hoping, hoping he could you use that. Yeah. No, but he was that guy who was, you know, he was, he always, you were much happier that he was on your team, mm. you know, no than question. not on your team. Because if he wasn't, you thought he was just the biggest asshole ever. You know what I mean? No but he was our asshole. We and, loved, and yeah. If it was your coach, you sometimes feel like he might be the biggest asshole ever. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, sure yeah, that yeah. that could be yeah. the case. The first year, 2018, his first year with the Titans, it was like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Why is he treating everybody like yeah. this? Yeah. But he's done a lot of growing. Yeah, yeah. years later, yeah, we had him on recently, and we got the, you could just tell how nervous we were trying to be like, you kind of suck. Right. We're neither year. one of us yeah. on the team anymore. Yeah. And you would think, okay, now we can separate and move on. But there's <laughs> no. this head coach five. You're like, sir, yeah. good to see yeah. him. How are yeah. we doing? Like he could cut you yeah. right now. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, you know yeah. what? You're off the podcast. Like, well, how'd that happen, yeah. dude? He's it's, never going to lose that, though, because, you know, he had he had such a good career as a player. Mm. He carries well, he, that. Yeah, he he carries you. that. Con- he had that kind of confidence as a player. Mm. You know, I mean, there's nobody that he pissed off more than Brady, you know, because he would play scout team all the time. And so, like, he would do with our defensive reps. And then what he would do is whoever was playing, like, safety, you know, on the scout team, he would go in the huddle and go, get out of here. And he would throw the guy out of the huddle, and then he would play safety. And, of course, he would never do what the card said to do, mm-hmm. which pissed Brady off to no end. You know what I mean? It's like, well, that he's not going to do that, Mike. And then he would go, cry to death. You know, like, Yo, that the whole, like, oh, oh, yeah, he would, he would, those two had legendary battles going back and forth and all the rest of it. But Mike was... Mike was always the agitator. You know what I mean? That was and part of his shtick. Billy B was okay with him going in and fucking up a scout rep. Oh, he didn't. He he didn't really. No, he didn't care. Again, he just you know his thing was always like, well, you got to read it out. You know what I mean? If the safety's not where he's supposed to be, then throw yeah. it somewhere else. You know what I mean? So yeah, so it was kind of a he he didn't really mind that no. You seem like a like the patriot. That sounds like so contradictory to what you hear as players. You just hear like the patriot way, the patriot way. It's like the hardest practices. Two days are just. They wish they could have him back so back to so to hear that Mike was oh yeah just fucking around a little bit yep. and mess with it seems like very out of Bill Belichick. But character. Mike, but 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 when Mike was out there doing his thing, it was always the way you would want it to be. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so you know he we it was both ways. You right. know, certain guys got a little bit more leeway. Yeah, 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 yeah. than others Absolutely. as it always is. Yeah. So um, no, those were the guys we had back then. It was such an old school team. You know, Brewski, Harrison, Vrabel, Ty Law, McGinnis. Like, they just kind of, you Bunch know, they kind of, like, man. could handle their own locker room. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it was just the way it was and went out to practice, and they kind of held the standard. There's a legendary tale of Mike Vrabel saying that he would cut his piece off to win a Super Bowl. <laughs> said that in 2019? Uh, Something like that. They went to the they went to the AFC championship, and then he said, "No, I actually won't do it." And then they, you guys lost. We lost to the kids. If he would have just held right on to he it, said he would actually not cut his piece yeah. off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess what the segue is here is, <laughs> what are you willing to do to win a Super Bowl? Just, I want to work hard. <laughs> 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 I might give a finger or something, yeah, but no I mean, I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. That's not happening for you. That. No. Uh-uh. Damn. 